Welcome back. I'm Michael Gross. After the All-Star break in a road series, the Otters are finally back at Bossy Field tonight for the first time in nine days. They're taking on a sub-500 Lake Erie Crushers team to begin a six-game homestand. So let's head over to the ballpark. Both teams had their pitching going. Lake Erie's Yasel Santana and Evanville, Evansville's Tim Holdgrafer each had three strikeouts in the first inning. The bat started to come alive a bit when Jomar Reyes skies it down the right field line. Crushers more worried about not running into each other than even making the catch, and it's an errant throw, too, so Reyes into second. But nothing else would come of it. We move to the bottom of the third, and Noah Myers gets a base hit into center field. That brings up Jeffrey Baez, who gets power all over this one. Way back to our side, and you can kiss that baseball goodbye. A two-run homer, and Evansville strikes first. Same inning with one on first as Jomar Reyes gets a hit out to left and puts two on for the Otters. Then Ethan Skender gets drilled up high here. Good thing it didn't go any higher to the head. It got him in the shoulder area, but the bases would be loaded. Two outs and George Khalil with an opportunity, but an accidental check swing. The inning comes to the close. Now, bottom of the first inning and Kona Quiggle gets a hold of that one and everyone a little bit confused at first not knowing if the crusher robbed it but it did go over the fence and a solo shot makes it three nothing top of the fifth no one on for the crushers but Ju Galassi crushes this one into right to put Lake Erie on the scoreboard and way out of here that would not be enough though as the Otters come through with a six to four win